what's happened everyone long time no see i had to go back on the channel and see how long it's been since i've uploaded a video and it's been two months just been busy with life and projects and the family and just life you know life catches up and no time for youtube videos but i'm here in the backyard today it's labor day weekend and i have time so i figure i'll make a update video on the taxi since it's been like three months since i've uploaded a video for people that are new that's my 2004 cobra that pretty much ran and i took it apart and changing up the setup again to make it go faster it was streetable back in the day but now we're going full race so it's been a lot of changes on the car and i'm going to show you today all the updates that i've done in the past three months since the last time i've uploaded a channel i even had to go back and see where i last left off on the car which was the brake lines that's where we last left off I was going to do the brake lines, which now that's 100% done. Let's walk over to the car. As you can see on the firewall, brake lines all nicely tucked in the back, P clamped and bolted down. And uh, all the brake lines came out really nice. Let's check out this driver's side over here. So everything came out nice and clean. I actually already bled the brakes and we have no leaks and the brakes work so that's a good thing um, right now right now that we're here in the front let's take a look at the engine bay and see more of the updates like i got my radiator fan or excuse me i got my radiator up and then i also started wiring the uh, fans already got it all on a deutsch connect basically ready to run the wires to that maven mount that you see over here on the firewall that's going to make life super easy right here so all the wiring is going to go to all these pins right here. Once I uh, terminate them with the proper pin on there, I'll uh, plug them in. All these are numbered. I'll make a list. That way I know what pin is what wire. And uh, makes it easy when you're removing, let's just say the engine was here and you got to remove the engine harness. You literally just twist off and, you know, the wires would be in there. You would see the harness, you know what I mean? So that's where I'm at with this. It's literally just, just got to find the... Uh, the pin and locks right back in so i got two bulkheads from maven performance these are really nice especially when you're sealing the firewall and you're not having no wires or harnesses coming out the uh, firewall because you're going to run methanol and you don't want no holes on your firewall that's what i recommend you to buy and then this right here are these two bulkheads with uh, my ground and my power so i could get a uh, power to like my starter or ground to like the engine block and this is on the other side of the firewall this has a uh, ground wire going to the battery as well as the power right there so the engine bay is pretty much complete as of now until i get my engine back which i should be hearing back from the machine shop and my boy frank here soon hopefully you get that motor back we could get that slapped back in and uh start the uh, engine harness process and as you can see right here, I started already doing the headlight harness. It's all done already. This is going to be for my horn. Probably going to put a horn somewhere right here. Need to buy one. Got my uh, wire for my uh, fog lights. It's the uh, driver's side over here. It's all nicely loomed. Goes to this connector right here. This Deutsch connect. So if I ever have to remove the headlight harness, easy as that. It pops out. A couple zip ties and I'll be out. I have to finish zip tying this right here but i'm not going to do that if, because i still have more wires that are going to run along here don't want to waste zip ties so that's just hanging for for now let's get this plugged back in let's check out the updates inside the car or no you know what actually before we get to the good stuff and all the nice updates in there let's go to the back real quick so since i had to rewire the whole car if you've been keeping up with the uh, build you would see that I removed all the engine and exterior and interior wiring. Basically all the wires got ripped out and I started from scratch. So had to redo all my wiring as well back here. Got all fresh wiring to my off and on switch. And then I got two uh, charging ports basically for terminals for the battery. I am gonna be going 16 volt on the car I'm no longer going to have an alternator, so 
this right here is going to I basically hook up my charger after a pass and uh, get the battery charged up before the next round. So, got my battery in there, which I'm going to be replacing and getting a 16 volt battery. Since I am going to be running methanol and billet automizer injectors, uh, it's best that you go 16 volts. So we're getting rid of the 12 volt system. So I just have this battery on there for right now for mock-up. But you can see back here, got a nice bridge for all the power wires distributing in the car. All right, as you can see, some of the interior is back in. My back seats are back in center consoles all back in and then boom check that out the new motion raceworks operator shifter so essentially once the car gets tuned and we start updating the um, program on stuff around the car i will be able to program at what rpm i want the car to shift so if i have it set at 7800 rpm it'll send signal to the mac valve mac valve will release co2 air which will go in through here and then I'll switch into second, which this is park. This will be reverse, nope. neutral, second, first. Okay, so that's essentially first gear right there. And say you're racing or you're gunning it and the car finally sees 7800, it'll throw it'll release air and shift on its own into second gear. And it will only go into second gear. It will not shift into neutral, reverse, or anything like that. It's just basically one shift. And the reason I wanted to do the uh, night, the CO2 assisted shifter was I want to keep my hands on the steering wheel. The car's going to be going super fast now. And you just, you know, that's one last thing you got to worry about is shifting uh, the car. So it makes you more precise and accurate with your path. So this was something I had to have. I think it's really nice. I got the billet handles on it. Looks really sick. I utilized the... Uh, cup holder right here I basically cut this out and made a my boy um, Mike Proc welded me up a bracket and uh, makes a removal has a bolt through here and then this could come off if I ever have to remove it but there's a nice square plate down there that's bolted onto the car and it looks real nice it looks real slick with the center console all right now that we're kind of done talking about the new shifter if we look over here towards the uh, passenger side firewall you'll see my uh, holly dominator all mounted with the motion raceworks uh, roll bar clamps this is a really nice uh, product it's really nice makes it nice and sturdy and then down here got my relay panel which those are uh, all the relays for trans cooler fan radiator fan uh, backup lights got uh, relays for my coils and basically all this wiring right here goes to my new switch panel that I made from scratch that's up there I'll show it to you in a second but if you see down here let me get this light settled down right here okay so as you can see those uh, that power and ground that I showed you on the other side of the firewall in the engine bay that's where they the wires go to so the, the bulkhead sends power through this side and to the opposite on the other side of the firewall and then there's the uh, maven mount all the wiring from the uh holly dominator will go from the holly dominator and pin into the uh, the bulkheads on this side so these this side of the bulkheads aren't removable only on the uh engine side because there's no reason for you to have to pull this bulkhead out so that stays like that i got my ground bridge right here my distribution block basically for uh, any grounds that I need inside the car go to this and this is uh, ran to the battery and then I also have another one a power distribution block over here for all the power for the um, for like my relay panel and like my holly screen and then my fuse panel for like my headlights and whatnot so the wiring's coming out really nice Let's check out this uh, driver's side so finally got my uh, Holly 686 Pro Dash screen really nice 
sucks because it's super bright outside so it's hard to see in here. I'm trying to get this light to show but it's not really doing its justice but as you can see you got the Holly screen on the Motion Raceworks steering column. Alright guys so that right there is the uh, new switch panel for the car that I made from scratch. I ordered this switch panel from Amazon. It's a uh, eight buttons basically still have two open but i got power for my fuse box my ecu my fuel pump uh radiator fan transmission fan and then backup lights when they're backing me into the groove i will have lights underneath my car so you can see making sure you're putting me back in the groove properly this right here is for the starter so this will send signal to the starter when i hold it and then just in case of emergency push that kills all the power in the car to all the uh, electronics so that's really nice got this from uh, maven performance got this off amazon got this off amazon as well and then i'm using i'm using the uh, motion raceworks uh, roll bar mounts as well right here but let me get the steering wheel real quick get the set on there super easy to mount really nice so it's gonna be the uh the view super easy literally crank you know start the switches and whatnot you know, first gear burn out trans brake release scramble and bump in at the same time all right let me hop out of here and let me get some power on there because a lot of this stuff already works. Come back here, get this power switch on. So, oh, that's another cool little thing that I got off Amazon. I utilize the, uh, the old cigarette holder for a uh, charge seat port. That way I can hook up my draggy and charge my draggy gives you battery voltage which is super low since the battery's been sitting for like two years not too bad I guess but we come up here let's see if I get this light up here get better view okay so this power right here that is basically for like all my headlights and of course power windows so all that still works This right here is my uh, headlight switch, factory one, OEM. And this is gonna be the next uh, thing I'm gonna talk about. I am gonna be putting the uh, factory dash back on. That's why I have the uh, factory switch. That's gonna go back to the dash. So I am planning on putting my dash back on, but I'm not going to put it back in until the car is 100% done. It's running good and the wiring checks out. Then once all that's, 100% done like I said I'll put it back in and uh, the screen will stay in front of the uh, dash and which I have over here on my table so I got the dash on here on my table I'm still gonna be keeping the uh, factory gauges I'm not gonna be getting rid of those but the holly screen is basically uh, basically you're gonna be sitting right here you know in front of the steering uh, steering wheel or whatever be resting about this area right here and I'm still gonna have the stock gauges but they're not gonna be functional no more they're just gonna be there for looks so trying to keep the car looking as factory as possible gonna be also putting in the factory radio back in gonna be removing my uh, old double dim that I had and putting my factory stereo back in Put the AC switch panels back in since uh, before I used to have all my uh, switch switches here for like my water pump and intercooler pump and whatnot. But since I made that new switch panel, I get to put the uh, factory AC panel back in and make the dash look stock. But like I said, this isn't going back in the car until the car's 100%. I mean, let's just say um, we're tuning and uh, we're having some type of issue with the wiring. I want to be able to access everything super quick so that's going to be one of the last things i'll be putting on the car 
So the car's gonna look like this until it's 100%. Just need to be able to get to everything just in case. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know I've been slacking on the content. I also have another video that I haven't even had time to edit. I went down to a Vegas drift event here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And uh, my buddy Marcos invited me in his uh, C6 vet and we were ripping it. Got some badass footage. We were cornering with other vets, super close, super exciting. And like, it was something I've never done before. So it was, it was fun and had a blast. So be on the lookout for that video. I will be uploading that here soon as well. But that's gonna do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Check you guys out on the next one. Peace.